Danny and Lindsay know that life's joys will be heightened, life's bitterness will be sweetened, each of its moments will be made holy, and yes, any of life's storms will be weathered because the two of you have each other. Oh my God, this day means literally everything to me. I think I've cried 17 times. There are no words to describe this day. It's been something that we've been planning and dreaming of ever since Lindsay and Danny got engaged. I can't even express how absolutely beautiful and breathtaking my daughter looks, how handsome and charming and dapper Danny looks. Most importantly, how happy and beautiful they are together as a couple. And I love them both more than words can say. Watching, you know, Capecci just sort of take it all in while Lindsay was walking down the aisle. It was just a really special moment, I think, for, for everybody who knows them. And so, Danny and Lindsay, on this, your wedding day, surrounded by the presence of those who love you most, guided by those who came before us, we pray that God will grant you a lifetime of love, health, family, friends, lots of little Romanics, an Eagle Super Bowl, and laughter, laughter, laughter. And let us all say, Amen. They're always smiling together. They seem to be able to communicate just by looking at each other. They compliment each other beautifully. I got teary-eyed and emotional, but a sense of happiness knowing that together, they were just gonna have a wonderful world and life together. My dearest Lindsay, when I take a moment to think about how we got here to this day, I can't help but feel a rush of emotion, oh God. I think back to that first night on the beach when I finally built up the courage to kiss you for the first time, to our first vacation to California when I first knew I found the person I wanted to, be, to spend the rest of my life with, to the sunset in Maui when I got down on one knee and asked you to be my wife. Babe, I can't believe the day is finally here. I really thought it would feel like forever, and it did. But these last five years have blown by in the best way possible. I really, really can't wait to marry you and make it official. I feel married to you already, and I have for so long. These moments, of course, were just some of our major milestones. But our relationship is so much more and it's so hard to describe. It's the feeling I get when I come home after a long day and see your beautiful face. It's the comfort I feel when we binge watch TV and order in. <laughs> you are my happy, safe, and best place. I feel so lucky to have you in my life forever. When I think of all of this, I realize that I am the luckiest because I get to spend my life by your side. Let's enjoy every moment and have the best night and day and life together. I have no doubt we will. I cannot wait for all the major milestones we will share in the future, but more so for these ordinary everydays that make up our blessed life together. You are my person. Love, Danny. You're my one true. Love, Lindsay.
the dog that she just got today, oh my God, the cutest thing ever. Best thing Danny has ever done. I've been in the relationship with them for five years and he just took it to the next level and her face was the most priceless thing I've ever seen in my entire life. My present is gonna be so disappointing. <laughs> you didn't also get him a fucking No, I got a stupid watch. Enjoy this watch and use it to see the time go by as our future grows. Lindsay is my biggest supporter, the first person I go to when I'm upset, and who knows me better than anyone in the world. All of a sudden, my freshman year of college, Lindsay called me and explained that they had kind of been seeing each other. I moved to Michigan, and someone swoops in and steals my best friend. I got to see them together more and more. My defensiveness and selfish attitude dissipated, because quite simply, he was a keeper. There's supposed to be a hole behind that somewhere. It's here. I can't it's see it. It's your second try? It's like my third or fourth. Third or fourth. <laughs> Still, third or fourth, I think both guys. Danny is my little brother. And doesn't he look amazing tonight in his fancy tux there? Why don't you stand up and twirl for everybody and let them see how good you look? Look at that. Look at that. Take, take, take a walk. Danny is the most optimistic and fun loving person I know. He loves life and lives to enjoy every minute of it. He's very kind and smart. And he will help anyone else out before he helps himself. And I think that's really special about him. So when Lindsay was a little girl, she was always strong-willed. There were some challenging days. I knew that through that all, that was going to make her a strong and determined woman when she grew up. Those characteristics have carried through and made her a strong, passionate, and amazing woman today. So just how were they matched up with one another? How was this Zug, this partnership created? Well, that is simple. Camp Rama in the Poconos. So how do these two remember meeting at camp? Well, Lindsay explains it like this. I do not remember meeting Daniel Capetri. <laughs> and Daniel describes their meeting like this. I truly wish more than anything I could remember that exact moment when I first laid eyes on Lindsay. I know for sure that I thought she was cute. <laughs> So there they were, friends, hanging out down the shore after camp. As Danny explains, I would text her to come out with us and she would always decline. <laughs> but we would still meet up later for an awkward coffee or even a lunch at the train station. <laughs> Looking back now, Daniel says, I wonder if maybe I subconsciously knew I'd be with her all along. I never really made that kind of effort to meet people in train stations with anyone else. <laughs> God makes matches and a night down the shore turned into a slightly less awkward conversation on the beach, which turned into a first kiss, and with that kiss, a love began to blossom, a love which now unites Daniel and Lindsay under the chuppah, surrounded by the love of family and friends. I never predicted they would end up together. Like, I was shocked when Lindsay told me she kissed Danny. Then I thought about it for like literally 10 seconds and I'm like, oh, they're actually really similar. You got me a puppy. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe you got these off. <laughs>
Uh, do you like him? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I did it. I can't believe you got me this watch. It's beautiful. I'm okay, wearing well, it. this is nothing compared <laughs> to that. I appreciate you saying something. I love it. What do we do now? <laughs> I get her what she wants. Yeah. <laughs> When I first found out that they were dating, it was surprising because I just never had thought of the two of them as being interested in one another, but at the same time, it, it absolutely made sense. And both of them are just so driven to help the people that they care about. Lindsay, you're a sister that's great. We even brought me a brother, Dan, your perfect soulmate. You have been there for me since we were small. Now here comes Dan. He's so tall. Dan, my new brother, I love when we play Mario together. I'm so happy to be standing by your side to support you on your wedding day. I love you in a big way. Beautiful. They value similar things, they like to do similar things, and I was like, they really do make complete sense. How did none of us think of this? It's so nice to actually see two people that you know were meant to be together. At Camp Ramah, there's there's a gazebo, actually, that's dedicated to uh, people that met at camp and got married with plaques. And you also be getting a plaque up there. And Lindsay, you are lovely. You make my brother better, and I'm so excited that you're in our family. And I look forward to, the, you know, spending time with all you guys, with our families in the future. They were meeting up for their Valentine's Day gifts. Lindsay got him a pair of pants. And Kachi surprised Lindsay and took her to Hawaii, which I didn't know. Then I wake up to a text at 3 a.m. and like, he proposed to me. The party, the decorations, everything is just beyond words. The room just transformed itself and you didn't even feel like you were in a tent. It was just the city skyline in the backdrop, the beautiful flowers, the romance it was just breathtaking. This is probably the most special event I'll ever go to. For all of us to be friends and to see two of our closest friends get married, it's, it's really a once in a lifetime experience. I really love you guys. I think you bring so much joy to the people that know you and love you, and I think that you both make each other better people. We wish you nothing but the best. As my late grandma Esther Perkins would say, we love you, we appreciate you, and we are proud of you. Congrats. Cheers to all that's to come. I love you both beyond words. I can't believe I didn't cry. I'm so proud of you. Yisa Adonai panave lecha, liyasem lecha shalom. May God always bestow favor upon you and grant you a life filled with joy and peace. Break the glass and kiss your wife.
it's too wide. It can't be, it's too wide. So I don't have enough slack. Yeah, so I have to make it longer. What, am I on mic'd right now? Yep. You are mic'd. Okay. No cursing, no talking about the dog. <laughs> <laughs> he has sex by hand right now. <laughs> am I supposed to read this out loud? <laughs> uh, you are. Spinning it a little bit, there you go. Oh! <laughs> Cash girl. She spun it all right. You spun it. Sorry. Right. Why is there so painful? Um, Beauty is pain. Snuggle over here, girl. There. Why is sound effects? Don't pretend to hear. They both like hooked in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Lindsay's father for a long time. <laughs> and I've seen her get sick with a bottle, cry herself to sleep. I've seen everything. Crawling on the floor. But enough about her 18th birthday. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> on this side. Right this here. is the Italian over here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 